What's going on? It's Ed from Clicks Geek. Long time no see. Haven't recorded a video in a while. So I want to get on the uh, camera today and record a video for you for one of the most popular things I get asked over and over from our white label partners. They come to us and say, Ed, I've got a client that's interested. We don't know what to do budget-wise. Can you make a suggestion? And here is the formula that I use every single time to walk them through how to set a daily and a monthly budget for their clients. So first things first. What I would do if you don't have it already is download the Keywords Everywhere plugin. It's a free plugin for uh, it's a browser extension plugin. Uh, I use it on <clears throat> on Firefox, and basically what it does is is when you Google something, um, it'll actually give you estimated search volumes and then estimated click costs. I just threw up a couple of examples here. Uh, relatively accurate. Um, sometimes you'll see stuff that's a little off, but for the most part, I think it's easier and faster to use than the keyword planner. And that's why I, I like it and rely on it. Um, something to keep in mind is if you're doing local business stuff, you've got to geo modify whatever it is that you're uh, targeting. So I wouldn't just do divorce lawyer. I would do, um, cause that's going to throw up different numbers. What I would do is I'd look to do it at, um, um, at a, a geo modified level. So if I did Atlanta, it show a different rate if I did, um, let's say Las Vegas, that's gonna show a different rate, right? And then if I did Los Angeles, yeah, so this is just gonna give us an idea, a rough idea of what click costs are gonna be in that market. It could be plus or minus a little, but rule of thumb, um, I, I work in AdWords all day every day and sell AdWords all day every day and um, this the method I'm about to describe hasn't failed me yet in terms of being completely off. So what I typically do is this, download the plugin and then I start working on a niche. Let's say I had a client, a power washing client in the Charlotte market. What I would do is throw it into this formula. Let me move this down a little bit, give me one sec. All right. So what I would do is, let's say this is roughly 10 bucks, just for ease of math here, 10, 10, 62, let's just say it's 10 bucks, just for ease of math, so I don't have to redo this. But what I do is, I take my I take the average click cost, and I times that by five. And that's gonna give me my daily, my suggested minimum daily ad budget. The reason I do that is because I know most of our campaigns convert between 20 to 40% on the landing page. So roughly two out of four out of 10 clicks become leads for us. So 10 clicks is two to four leads. So um, I could always do this by four. I prefer to just do it by five just to give a little bit more leeway in there. So my goal is to get at least a lead per day out of a campaign. Um, obviously, I want as many as possible, uh, quality, qualified traffic, quality leads. Um, but at a minimum level, I want at least, um, at least one. So um, I take that number and I multiply that by five. So that'll give me Monday through Friday and then multiply that by four, which will give me weeks of the month. So roughly what that's gonna look like is daily budget times five times four to get me a monthly budget. And that's assuming we're running Monday, Monday through Friday. If we're gonna be running seven days a week, I'd take daily budget and multiply that by five, uh, rather seven. If you're running Monday through Saturday, I'd do it by six. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is um, technically month, the average weeks in a month is 4.3 because there's a fifth, a five week month every few months. So keep that in mind. I, for use of math, I typically just do times four because everyone can wrap their head around those numbers a lot faster and it's easier to think about. But you just want to make sure the client understands that, um, you know, it's plus or minus a little bit because you are going to have, I think it's every third month, you're going to have a five week month. So just keep that in mind. And also not all days, um, not all days of the week fall equally throughout the course of the month as well. So just keep that in mind. All right. So the example we have here for power washing in Charlotte, we've got average cost per click is 10, right? So 10 times five is 50, 50. So now we go on the weekly level, 50 times five is 250, 250 times four is a thousand. So what I would say to this client is let's start with a thousand dollar a month ad budget. Can we go with less? Of course. Can we go with more? Awesome. Yes, please. More the merrier. Here's the thing. If you run into a situation where your average click cost and your daily budget are really tight, meaning there's not at least four or five clicks available in that budget on a daily basis, what happens is, is Google starts to constrict your, your campaign and not show it as much because um, 
they can't they can't have uh, too many clicks going on, and, and you're basically a lower cash flow asset to them. They're going to look at other people in the market that have the ability to spend more, and give them the opportunities to spend more. Um, and the other thing is is um, the the average click cost to your daily budget is a vital ratio. So keep that in mind. This this is a very very important ratio. Average click cost times five. Assuming that you're converting at 20%. If you're not converting at 20%, then you've got to then you've got to work on your conversion rates. Look at other videos we have in um, uh, on the YouTube channel about how to bump up your conversion rates. You know what can you do? More social proof, better headline, better calls to action. It could be a keyword issue. It could be any number of things. But our goal internally is a 20 to 40% conversion rate. That's what we're shooting for. Um, let me give you a couple examples of where we could run into some pitfalls if you don't use this budget. Okay, so let's say, let's say click costs are 25 bucks, okay? And you have a $50 a day budget. You have a 1K a month budget, all right? So 25 bucks into a $50 a day ad budget, you're roughly gonna get a click, maybe two clicks per day. What happens is, is once you've gotten that first click, Google starts to throttle your campaign and not show it very often, and it's gotta put it in um, sparingly because it can't, it can't risk overclicking. <clears throat> So the risk is, is you're going to leave money on the table. So you budgeted the thousand, but you likely aren't going to spend that thousand. You might spend 500, you might spend 750, 600, 900. The problem is, is you just, um, it's hard to spend that when you're, when you're, um, your impression share is, is going to be compressed. So my rule of thumb is, is go with the times five model that I've outlined here. It's just, it'll make your life a lot easier. Um, there are exceptions to this rule, just like everything else, but this is how I 80-20 a, um, a budget uh, for a client. Um, there are situations where the client lifetime value could be enormous, you know, 5, 10, 20, 50, $100,000 uh, lifetime value. So you could go in with smaller budgets. And if you do that, you just got to think about um, performance over like a quarter rather than on a month, month, month over month performance, right? Because you're getting a lot less clicks in that campaign. And you've got other management fees going on monthly there. So you've got to think about um, the campaign's performance quarterly and not weekly or monthly. Okay. Um, what else can I tell you about this? Um, oops, something just fell in the, something just fell in the bathroom. Um, <laughs> uh, what can I tell you here? Uh, this ratio is, is going to be the biggest driver in how a campaign takes off or doesn't. Um, if, you're, if your average click cost to daily budget ratio is too tight, your campaign is going to be throttled and you can only do so much with the campaign. You know, a lead every day, every other day, every third day. Um, but if you hit these ratios, you should be able to get leads flowing. Things start, special things start to happen. Once Google starts seeing your campaigns performing well, you're getting conversions, you start to get some preferences um, and, and things can take off very nicely. So. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, this is Ed from ClicksGeek. We're a white label PPC agency. We're a Google Premier Partner. We've got a course teaching this stuff if you're of interest, but we also do this stuff uh, outsourced for other agencies and some retail business. So if you have any questions, just hit me up. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, that's it. Have a great day. I'm going to the beach. Talk to you guys later. Bye.